Well, tonight, the family of Staff Sergeant David Wyatt is preparing for his funeral, which is tomorrow. His body arrived in Nashville today, one week after a gunman shot and killed Wyatt, four other Marines, and their shipmate. Well, earlier this evening, a police escort for Wyatt and his family to Chattanooga, two and a half hour drive. And Wyatt's father, Alan, sat down and talked with us tonight. And he says the support during the two and a half hour drive from Chattanooga, from Nashville to Chattanooga, was absolutely overwhelming. You see it there. He says people still stood on overpasses and even on the lines of streets, waving flags, just waving and some even saluting. And while he's grieving for the loss of his son, he says it is unbearable trying to explain all of this to David Wyatt's two children. His youngest says, was asking and his mother said uh, uh, a bad man killed her, killed his daddy. And that's what we had to say. And we had to say that, he, that David's never coming back. That's, it's, it's very final and he's not coming back. Ellen Wyatt says he is stunned at the support he's seen since he's been here, the support for the five fallen heroes. He and his wife spent some time at the memorial on Lee Highway. And when they went back a second time, he says he was amazed at just how much we have seen that memorial grow. And beginning at 2.45 tomorrow, the public can line the procession route for David Wyatt's funeral. From the church, the procession will follow Old Hickson Pike to Austin Road, to Hickson Pike, then to South Highway 153, to Amnicola, and then to Wilcox Boulevard, to Holtzclaw Avenue, and then to the final resting place, the National Cemetery. There will be no parking at the cemetery, so transport will be provided from Engle Stadium beginning at 1 o'clock.